Greetings, Barbara. Ahoy. It's been a long time since I made a videotape uh, of my cello or even talking. So I thought I would try a, a mini lesson to see if I could convey what I think you want to know about the Dvorak. So I'm just going to play a couple of passages uh, that are the ones in treble clef down an octave. And I'll give you a fingering later and talk about the shift a little bit. This won't be that good because I haven't practiced it. <laughs> Second one, a little bit after that. And then the other one, probably. Shoot, sorry. Uh, fingering is pretty obvious. I would do four and two, four and two, two, four, and then position. talk a little bit about the, the shift. I think that's the one. You don't want to hop. It's too risky. So slide along the string. So your second finger and third finger are active. So the second finger is what you're sliding on. Slide on the two up to a B, and then your third finger goes down on the C. In slow motion. So that's, that way you're getting the timing, and it's a rhythmical shift. The shift is before the bow changes. It's not that's shifting after the bow change. I do all the work before, and then the bow changes. string, 
four, two, one, three. difficult but with the shifting there's always and maybe you learned this last time I gave you a lesson it's either a delayed or anticipated anticipated could be anticipated mean means that the fingers are going before the bow changes so I'm sliding on the old bow. And I'm sliding on the finger that I'm playing. And I hide it a little bit, I don't go. Even going backwards, I'm hiding it, I don't go. shift which is more of a romantic so it'll be like so I'm shifting after the here's the new bow and I'm go Something very schmaltzy. Instead of before the bow. Uh, so that's just a short clip. I didn't give you that much information, but uh, tell me if this is legible and if you can hear it clearly and I can do something more detailed. So. Ahoy!